Uh, my respect to our smart and gorgeous professor, Ma'am Narisa M. Beatrice, and to all my virtual classmates, I am Teris Roslin H. Kulawai, one of the reporter for Constructivism Theory. But before we continue, let's take have first the meaning of constructivism. Constructivism is based on the idea that people actively construct or make their own knowledge. Reality is being determined by one's experiences as a learner. Use previous knowledge as a foundation and a build on it with new things that they learn. Everyone's individual experiences make their learning unique. So, constructivism is crucial to understand as an educator because it influences the way all your students learn. Appreciate the constructivist approach to learning. Understand that their students bring their own unique experiences to the classroom every day. Their background and previous knowledge impact on how they are able to learn. Constructivist proponents. So we have here some of the proponents of constructivists. So in this century, Jean Piaget and John Dewey developed theories of childhood development and education. What we now call progressive education that lead to the evolution of constructivism. Piaget believed that human learn through the construction of one logical structure after another. He also concluded that the logic of children and their modes of thinking are initially entirely different from those of adults. The implication of this theory and how he applied them have shaped the foundation for constructivist education. Dewey called for education to be grounded in real experience. He wrote, if you have doubts about how learning happens, engage in sustained inquiry, study, ponder, Consider alternative possibilities and arrive at your belief grounded in evidence. Inquiry is a key part of constructivist learning among the educators, philosophers, psychologists, and sociologists who have added new perspective to constructivist learning theory and practice are Lib Vygotsky, Jerome Broner, and David Osubel. Vygotsky introduced the social aspect of learning into constructivism. He defined the zone of proximal learning, according to which students solve problems beyond their actual developmental level, but within their level of potential development under adult guidance or in collaboration with more capable peers. Brunner initiated curriculum change based on the notion that learning is an active social process in which students construct new ideas or concepts based on their current knowledge. Say more papers, ground Breaking work in using computers to teach children has led to the widespread use of computer and information technology in, in constructivist environments. Modern educators who have studied, written about, and practiced constructivist approaches to education include John D. Bransford, Ernst Bond. Glazer's Wheel, Eleanor Duckworth, uh, Foreman, Roger Shank, Jacqueline, Jacqueline 
Renon Brooks and Martin G. Brooks. So, my topic will concentrate on give to live Vygotsky uh, constructivist theory uh, because there have so many proponents so I will just uh, uh, tackle about the constructivist theory of Lib Vygotsky. Lee Vygotsky work contains a central scope focus on the social aspect of acquiring knowledge. He suggests that one learns best through interacting with others. Through the process of working with others, learners create an environment of shared meaning with peers by being immersed in the new environment, the learner is able to adapt subjective interpretation to become socially accepted. Uh, let's focus now on Vygotsky's theory in classroom practice in you will see a circle so in the center is the strategy at the top peer-to-peer -peer collaboration next what the student wants to construct so they are going to construct things and then the groupings learning by groups learning groups next is talk and language so in groupings students will have an interchange of thought and languages or language next is web-based communi communities and then the dialogue of course uh, in the groupings there is a dialogue and the last one is of course the reflection on the topic that they have discuss so in this illustration Vygotsky approach to child development is a form of social constructivism based on the idea that cognitive function are the product of social interaction Vygotsky emphasized the collaborative nature of learning by construction of knowledge through social negotiations so there is a collaboration uh, uh, helping one another uh, for them to learn something new. Next is the Vygotsky Social Con Constructivist Theory. Vygotsky Social Constructivist Theory emphasizes the influence of cultural and social context in learning. Next, support a discovery model of learning. Next, teacher has active role, of course. Next, students' mental abilities develop naturally through paths of discovery. Next slide. Uh, this is the uh, one of the famous theory of Lee Vygotsky, the zone of proximal development. So, in this illustration, you will see in the middle, uh, uh, let's begin outside the circle. So, outside the circle, learners the big uh, yung pinaka start of the circle learners cannot do so he cannot do by his own alone next circle learners can do with 
guidance. So, if there is someone who will guide him, then he will learn. And the inner cir circle, learner can do unaided. So, he can already do the task alone without the help of someone else. So, according to Bigotsky, 1978, much important learning by the child of course through social interaction with a skillful child. Tutor. The tutor may model behaviors and or provide verbal instruction for the child. Vygotsky refers to this as cooperative or collaborative dialogue. So, nag-uusap-usap ang bawat isa. The child seeks to understand the actions or instruction provided by the tutor. Open the parents or teachers then internalizes the information using it to guide or regulate their own performance. So that's how uh, children learn according to Lid Vygotsky. Next is okay, another illustration. Student Next circle, learning environment. So, uh, the, the environment of the students becomes bigger and bigger. Next is the wider community, which represents the green color. So, the more knowledgeable others, or what they, uh, what Lid Vygotsky called MKO, the more knowledgeable others is somewhat self-explanatory so because it refers to someone so ang MKO means someone who has a better understanding or a higher ability level than the learner with respect to particular task process or concept so, very self-explanatory. Many times, a child peers or an adult children may be the individuals with more knowledgeable or with more knowledge or experience. So, this is ha uh, an example of this is uh, the, the children wants to learn computer games so somebody with his peer group who has a know-how about the games will teach him so by this the children learn the computer games so that's all for my report uh, thank you so much for listening